welcome back. So this is a continuation of my best of 2015 and I thought this was going to be my face edition but when I sat down and pulled all the products it was a lot. So this is going to be my primer foundation and concealer um, favorite picks and you know for 12 months to just pick one or two items I feel is just I can't do it because I, I went through such an array of products throughout the year. My skin has changed so much throughout the year that I can't just choose one product. So um, I do have a nice mix of both high-end and drugstore. I have a nice mix of um, new and old, tried and true, has been around for a while. It's just a nice variety. So we are going to start off with primers and um, let's face it, there aren't a lot of primers from the drugstore that are amazing. The one primer from the drugstore that I really did love and reach for quite a bit in 2015 is from Maybelline and it is the Baby Skin. Um, this is the Instant Pore Eraser. Now this was um, compared to the Benefit Professional and it doesn't, it's not, it doesn't stack up to the professional's standard, which is fine. That is a 20 something dollar primer. This is, you know, eight bucks. This is a really great pore filler though. Um, I found that I had j flawless looking foundation when I would use this, just as I would have if I used the professional. So this is a really nice alternative to it. So for the money, this is a fantastic pore filler. Um, I find that it is a silicone base and it really just makes um, everything look nice. So Maybelline takes it for drugstore. Alright, for high end, we're going to start out with Makeup Forever. This is the step one equalizer. All of the primers from Makeup Forever are awesome. There is something for everyone. There, you know, if pore filling is your thing, if you're oily, if you're, um, you want some luminosity, you know, there is something for everyone. So this is the step one. This is a smoothing um, primer and I love it clearly. I am almost out and I need to go get another one. This is a fantastic primer. Definitely a pick and a love for 2015. Um, another really, really high end. This is from YSL. I love this. This is the Touch A Clot Blur Perfector. This is such an awesome per, um, primer. This is what um, I use almost every day for months and months and months. This is a neat formula. Um, I can apply it with my finger so I don't get too much. It's just the coolest um, formula. I love the packaging. I love the product. Fantastic. Oh, just amazing. Um, next is from Jouer and this is their anti-aging moisture primer. I found that um, for the last part of 2015 this is what I was reaching for over and over and over because I had really dry skin and um, I found that this help, helped lock in moisture. It, it acted as a barrier between my foundation and my skin keeping my skin um, hydrated and you know, it kept the moisture in and that's what I needed. So this is a really great anti-aging um, primer from Jouer. I love it. But Jouer has awesome primers. Last but not least, um, from Becca. This is a newer one. This is the Backlight um, Priming Filter. This is fantastic. I actually have it on underneath my foundation today. It's so beautiful. I actually, um, when I was in the islands, I wore this all by itself. Because it gives just a nice little glow to the skin. And, um, you know, for me, it hydrated, it just, I looked glowy, it was really great. So this is what I like to use, especially if I'm going to, you know, if I have a satin finish foundation and I want it to be just a little more glowy, and not dewy, but glowy, that's what I reach for. This, I absolutely love it, it's beautiful. I did think that that was breaking my skin out, but after several more tries of it, or uses of it, I'm fine. So no, it wasn't. All right, we're gonna move on to foundations. I've used a lot of foundations over the past year. Um, I, we'll start with drugstore. And it's L'Oreal for the win. So hands down, L'Oreal, um, True Match Lumi. I know they also have the new cushion out. So that review will be coming soon for 2016. Who knows, it may take the cake. But this is one of my favorite foundations. It's absolutely gorgeous. It has a fantastic line. 
your options are endless in this color line. Um, really great for those of you who have normal to dry skin. Can't go wrong. And this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. Fantastic foundation. Long wearing. Uh, doesn't break me out, so that's awesome. It, it's, you know, it says it's an air light texture, which is, I feel like I could still see it on the skin. But it is a demi matte finish, and it's an all day full coverage wear of foundation, and it, it's from the drugstore, so less than fifteen dollars. Whoop! All right, let's take it back to the first part of last year. Ah, uh, my Dior skin, nude air, great foundation, very lightweight, beautiful. It's actually too dark for my skin right now, so I'll have to wait until this fades a little bit more. I used this on my girlfriend. And I'll insert a picture so you can see it. And this looks beautiful on so many different skin types. And she is um, oily. I'd say oily to combo. Where I am, my combination is normal to dry. So this looks great in a nice, on a large variety of skin tones and types. So really lightweight, gorgeous foundation. Along with that is my Lancome Nude Miracle Liquid um, Two Powder Makeup. Love this foundation. Another one of those really light to medium coverages. It is buildable. Um, it sits really nicely on the skin. This is definitely one of my favorites for the first part of last year. And if you know, it's, I'm almost, I can almost wear this again. Um, I was too dark, so yeah, really great foundation. Lo I, I keep these top shelf. These are my, some of my top shelf foundations, so I absolutely love them. Marc Jacobs Genius Gel. This has been a winner for me for two years running. I love this foundation. I love the way that it looks. I know that if I wear this foundation, my skin will look good all day. It'll look good in pictures. It'll look good in person. It'll just look good. So the Genius Gel, one of the really, really good foundations for me, um, for sure, for 15. And they have the Concentrate Serums now, which I also like, but this, the Genius Gel, definitely. It's a splurge, but for me, really, really awesome foundation. Oh, does this even need an introduction? This is the Too Faced um, Born This Way foundation. It's an oil-free foundation. It's absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, it ooh, it happened. It had an accident. Uh-oh. Looks like it broke. Well, looks like I'll be buying a new foundation. Oopsie. Good foundation though. Messy foundation. Um, that's a great one. You guys know I raved about it. I've done reviews on it. You guys know. Let's talk about my Doll 10. Now these are some of the newer foundations that I have. I love my Doll 10s. Um, this is the Hydra Gel and this is the Hydra Fluid. They have different fit and finishes. This one is, um, for me, a little bit more full coverage than this one. Equally as gorgeous. Um, this is for normal to dry skin. This is definitely more of an oily combination skin um, foundation. Beautiful. Love them both. And last but not least, my Dermablend Smooth Liquid Cameo Medium Coverage Foundation. This is what I have on today. I did a, just a very light coat of foundation. I didn't want it to be heavy. I didn't want it to look cakey. Oh, that got, that foundation got everywhere. Um, really, really great um, foundation. I feel like it sits really nicely on the skin. And I feel like it's just my skin, but better. So that's always a good thing. We're almost done. We've made it through the primers and the foundations. Yay! Concealers. Now, everyone has their own preference for concealers. I have under eye issues. I have dark circles. I have, I won't say I have bags because I don't normally have bags, but I have some wrinkles. Fine lines. We'll call them fine lines. I'm too young to have wrinkles, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> So for that area, I my number one for sure, Urban Decay Naked Skin for the win. I have, I mean, I am almost out of this. I've been trying to get every teeny beeny bit out. Um, it looks like I'm gonna have to back up, uh, break out my backup. But this is such a great concealer, very lightweight, but it covers like a dream. It blends so easy. Um, definitely for the win for this year or for 2015 was Urban Decay. One that snuck in on me that I thought was really fantastic, and I still use it, and I use it under in my under eye area today with the Urban Decay, 
is from Bare Minerals, and this is the Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. This is really awesome for covering dark circles, and I have dark circles like a beast. This doesn't cake, it doesn't crease, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't accentuate, and it's not dry. This is not a dry formula, so it won't dry out your under eyes, which is really awesome. Um, so this one kind of snuck up on me on the, um, towards the end of last year, so love that formula for sure. Maybelline for the win. The Age Rewinds are awesome. I think I have almost all of them. Um, and I use them all the time. They're great. They're moisturizing. They blend like a dream. They don't crease. If you set them, you have to set them. Um, but they're just, I love the application where it's just like boom, 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 done. Really just easy to use and they have a nice selection of colors also, which is great. Also from Maybelline, the Fit Me Concealers. This is actually the one that I use for contouring. Um, I have my other one in my beauty bag and it's downstairs, but I love these. These are very moisturizing, lightweight, easy to blend, come in a nice variety of colors. And like I said, I use this one actually for contour. So this is in Cafe, and then I use the light under my eyes. So you can use them. They're very multi-purpose if you want to use them for contouring and highlighting. So Maybelline Fit Me. Awesome. Last but not least is MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. This is a really, really full coverage, will get the job done, no problem, no questions asked concealer. It's really fantastic. And because it has the um, the creaseless technology or the, the technology that keeps it from creasing, um, I, I would use it as an eye primer also to keep my eyeshadow from creasing. So it's a two in one. Really, really great. It is a little bit more dry on the under eyes than, say, oops, than, say, the Urban Decay or the Bare Minerals, but still, really great. Full coverage looks flawless every time. So those are my picks for my favorite primer, foundation, and concealer of 2015. Please let me know what some of your favorites were. You guys know I love trying products. It's my thing. Uh, if you agree, Tell me why. If you don't agree, tell me why. Um, I felt like I did a nice variety. I had a nice variety of products, both high-end and drugstore, for those um, who can splurge and those who are on a budget. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up. I do have um, two more favorites coming up. I have lips, and then, of course, I have blush what is it, blush, um, bronzer, and highlight. So those are two more videos in the works, and I will um, have them posted very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and until next time, 